everybody welcome back to adonia academy i know a lot of gifting is not happening right now due to the situation we are in but who doesn't like a box of assorted cookies when you make generally make a cookie dough you you get about 16 18 cookies which is good you can freeze the dough and things like that but in today's video i'm going to show you how to make four different kinds of cookies with one cookie dough you can make all of them at the same time and they all have distinct flavors right from this chunky chocolate chunk cookie ooh look at that to these nutritious hazelnut and oat dark chocolate cookies choco nib cookies and also this gooey melted center cookie so let's get started and these cookies i'm doing a brown butter cookie dough trust me this one additional step makes all the difference now i'm taking half the quantity of butter and on a low flame i'm melting it to make it brown now remember this is not ghee ghee is cooked a lot more so you can't replace it with ghee cook your butter till it's brown and starts to form up like so now to that add the remaining half of the butter and mix it in so that it melts what happens if you brown the entire butter it becomes too bitter and then sometimes it might burn so you just brown the half and put in the other half of the butter once your butter has completely melted add in your sugars i'm using brown sugar and caster sugar if you don't have either one you can just replace it with you can just use one kind of sugar now add in the eggs for replacement of eggs please check the description box below you can also use flax eggs now add in the vanilla the flour i'm using all purpose flour you can also replace this with whole wheat baking soda and some salt now give this all a nice mix until you get a homogeneous cookie dough put this in the fridge for 15 minutes and you can use this straight away just add in some chocolate chunks and bake them in a preheated oven at 160 degrees celsius for 10 to 12 minutes If you want crisper cookies you can bake them for 15 minutes. These are soft cookies baked for 10 minutes has a very nice soft center and a crisp edge. But let me show you how to cha change this one batter into four different cookies. Divide the dough into two parts and to one part I added 1 cup of chocolate chips and to this other part I added quarter cup of melted dark chocolate and quarter cup of cocoa powder. Please see the description box in case you're confused. Now I took one part of this dark dark chocolate cookie dough and added quarter cup of rolled oats. and i'm portioning it out forming cookie balls you can just use a spoon or you can roll them like how i'm doing once the balls are formed add some hazelnuts you can use any kind of nuts almonds also go very well chill them for 15 minutes again and bake them at 160 degrees for 12 minutes now while they are baking let's form the other cookie now take the next half of the batch i mean the quarter of the batch so we divided them into four quarters 
and I'm adding a huge piece of dark chocolate. Make sure the chocolate is at room temperature and not very frozen. Add a generous amount of dark chocolate. Now freeze this again for 10 minutes. And now the first batch of hazelnut cookies are ready. Look at that. Crunchy oats and hazelnuts. Now place the second cookies in them. While the second batch of cookies are baking, I'm taking the other half of the cookie dough and adding some chocolate chunks to them. And as soon as the first batch of cookies comes out, I'm placing the third batch of cookies. I mean the second batch of cookies is out so I'm placing the third batch of cookies. So you see how simultaneously one after the other you can make four different kinds of cookies with one dough. Now I've made a large batch but if you follow the recipe in the description box you will get 16 cookies so four types of each cookie. Now to the last and final batch I'm adding some walnuts and some cocoa nibs. Be creative you can add more chocolate chips you can add assorted nuts now the third batch of chocolate chunk cookies are ready. Look at that. Crispy cookie gooey chocolate. Now I'm placing the fourth batch of cookies inside. Just remember before you put the cookies to bake, it has to freeze for about 10 minutes. So you place. Now here is your cookie box, gift box ready. You can enjoy it with your family or give it to your loved one. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.